Next, we're going to have Martin Menzo. Please, uh, the floor is yours, and your time is running. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Eliana. Saranamang, Uwiki? No, no, Uwiki. Saranamang, Uwiki? In Okanisi, Tongo de Mambotak, Uwiki o. Translating it into English. <laughs> Are you awake? Yes. yes. All right. <laughs> oh. Today I am here to wake you up and shake you up and make you aware of what is happening in Suriname. Because we are at the forefront of a remarkable journey, an, a, a journey of great growth in our oil and gas industry. And we have to be awake and know how to deal if we want to get a piece of that pie. Because one thing is sure, in 2027, because we can already see our business landscape is changing, right? And one thing is sure, one big grand announcement will be there in 2027, and you already saw it. Welcome to Shark Tank. Has anybody ever been in a shark tank? Can I see the hands? Nobody? I'm glad. <laughs> because can you get that feeling in? Being in a shark tank, sharks swimming around you all alone in the water and fiercely looking at you and want to eat you up? I think that's the main feeling that you get in the show, right? You, know, you all know shark tank? Entrepreneurs get the chance to really deliver or present their business ideas, and you have a, a couple of investors who are really there to eat you up. If you are not firm, if you are not steady, and if you are not ready, so are you awake? And are you aware? How well are we prepared for our future oil and gas investors? We don't know all of them, and we don't know how many of them will come, but the ones we do know <laughs> Starting with Mark Cuban, <laughs> Total, Apache, Exxon, Petronas. They're not here to give you a Christmas gift. They have one thing in mind, profit. If you're not ready, somebody else will be. So are you awake and are you aware? We have to be ready. Because what, what's the potential? Why are they here? What is there to gain? Looking back, and, and the FID isn't approved yet, right? So we don't have the exact numbers. But looking back at a report from DAI Global in 2018, we're talking of one block, just one block. Local firms are projected to capture about 6% of total project expenditures, about four, $400 million, right? 6%, that's a small piece of the pie. In Suriname, we love pie, right? One small piece, but that makes up for $400 million. Local content in, uh, in the operations phase is forecasted to remain fixed at 16 million for 30 straight years. Again, just one block. And we're looking at uh, average job demand, labor demand, 2,000 to 4,700, just one block. So how much of that piece of the piece of the pie, sorry, I, I, I want to have some pie, that's why. How much of that piece of the pie can we get or are we ready for? Because let's, let's be real, not everybody's going to be ready. And there are a couple of sectors that, that really have potential. These are just the top five. There, there are very ma many more, but the top five, just based again on the data from that block, Shipping, logistics, and warehouse, utilities, facility management, professional consulting services, employment, and workforce with their respectable amounts of that one block. So where are you and what piece is for you? Because we have some challenges. The amount we can get 
is based on the bridge we can build. Looking at our landscape, we have to be real. <laughs> Suriname has a gap of at least 40 years. Governance, we have a corruption rate of 38 out of 100. We have an ease of doing business score of 47 and a half out of 100. 90% of our companies are SMEs, less than 20 people. We have workforce capability. 3% has a university degree, 14% vocational education, 30% unemployment rate. And the majority of our SMEs don't have the capital to really invest in digital innovation. And don't talk about our infrastructure. 30% of companies say they have issues with electricity, which is a hurdle for their operations. And let's look at all our districts. There's no equal economic development opportunities. So a lot of challenges. And these challenges will influence our piece of the pie. So what? can we do? We identified three bridges, three important bridges. The first one, just as building a bridge, is your foundation. We have to make stronger business, build stronger business capacity, right? Three, three of the, going back to Shark Tank, three, of, three, three questions which are most of the time very hard for entrepreneurs to answer are, what is your acquisition cost? How much does it cost you to gain a new client? The second one, how are you going to scale your business? When the demand increases, how are you going to manage your expenses, right? And the third one, how does your revenue compare to the, those, of, those of your competitors? 95% of companies in Suriname can't answer those three questions. So are you aware? Are you awake? We have to start looking in the mirror and do a proper situation analysis. How do I compare? Not just in Suriname, internationally, based on finance, governance, marketing, HR, and the list can go on. We have to educate ourselves. Looking back at the data, 3% has a university degree. And that doesn't say that that only works, OK? <laughs> but educate and certify, right? Get that proper knowledge. The HSSEQ, that's one of the mandatory ones in this sector. Get that knowledge. Gain practical experience, put the theory into practice. Please network, please network, and that, that's combined with the last one, seek expert advice. You know, in Suriname, we have, we have a certain attitude, an attitude of doing business by myself. That doesn't work. Just looking at our challenges, that doesn't work. We have to network, get out there, and the SEOGS is one of the places you can network Although I do have to say it's very difficult with the prices for local content to get into this uh, SEOGS, right? But you have to network. And please seek expert advice. You don't have to invent it all on your own. There are a lot of experts out there who have already done it. And I know a lot of companies have budget constraints, but it takes money, time, and effort to really get on that next step up. And eventually, you will get there. If we look at the second bridge, moving on, that bridge focus on capabilities and talent. Because if you have the foundation, now they are going to start building the roads on the bridges and installing all the bridge parts, right? And I talked, to, I talked about that one block, a lifespan of about 30 years. Do you know that 20% of SMEs fail in the first year? And 50% of SMEs fail in the first five years. So how do we want to go through a lifespan of 30 years? 
right? We have to build our capabilities and talent. We have to be able to recruit, retain, develop, and improve our capabilities and our talent. Because let's be honest, if we go look at how many people are buying tickets to go abroad right now in Suriname, they're going to be shocked. How do we retain them? So we have to incorporate developing capabilities and talent into our local content strategy. Do you have a local content strategy? Perform the gap, implement talent development programs, and really collaborate with educational institution. Because that's the way you can get the knowledge inside. Again, you don't have to invent everything all on your own. And this last bridge, this last bridge, you know when you're finishing the bridge, then inspection comes in, and then maintenance comes in. Actually, maintenance is also a challenge for Suriname. We have a big maintenance issue here. And that's why we, ha we really need this last bridge. Building effective business ecosystems. And I'm glad Marciano talked about alliance. And that's part of the ecosystems. Do you guys, everybody got, has got to know Netflix, right? Don't let me go, make you open your phone. <laughs> everybody knows Netflix. Netflix is one of the great examples of building in uh, business ecosystems. And they created an economic community of different suppliers, producers, customers, competitors, government, all in one, delivering one product, streaming. And while networking with different kinds of entities, they l deliver the goods, but there's also competition and cooperation. And that's where we need to align. We need to be able to build those ecosystems. And how do we do that? We have to encourage collaboration. You know, business all by myself. We have to encourage collaboration. But also with international companies and local businesses. Provide incentives for them to want to work with you, right? And you can have different, different kinds of incentives. You can have price incentives, et cetera, et cetera. But try to gain that expertise from outside. Invest in research. I, I know that that is something that is really coming up the last years in Suriname. Uh, five to 10 years ago, you couldn't find any data. You still can't find a lot of data, but <laughs> we're coming up, right? But we have to invest in research. If you know, you can improve. If you don't know, you can't do nothing. Support the development of local supply chains. And lastly, enable an environment for SMEs to really grow and improve. So are you awake and are you aware? Three bridges, building a stronger business capacity as basis, foundation, building capabilities and talent, and building effective business ecosystems. This is what we need to do. This is what we have to be awake for, and we have to be aware for to get Suriname onto the next stage. And let me, let me end by stating a whole different scenario. Let's say the FID doesn't get approved, right? Let's say the whole oil and gas industry stays the same. Do we still need to do this? We still need to do this? Let's be awake and let's be aware. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Martin, and definitely you kept us.